Hey, Dan O'Donnell here with the McIver Institute. And while President Biden's handlers didn't trust him to do a traditional Super Bowl interview, they did have him record a pre-produced video on the scourge of shrinkflation. Some companies are trying to pull a fast one by shrinking the products little by little and hoping you won't notice. Give me a break. The American public is tired of being played for suckers. I'm calling on companies to put a stop to this. But are they really doing this to play you for a sucker or to deal with the out of control price hikes that were the predictable result of Biden's own inflationary policies? Companies aren't shrinking products and selling them for the same price to be greedy. They're doing it because the cost to make those products has gone up exponentially since Biden took office. The cost of producing goods is measured by the producer price index. And just like the far better known consumer price index, it's up 17.4% in just three years. That means it costs 17% more to make the exact same product. Now a company can either absorb that extra cost, possibly having to lay off employees to do so, or it can raise the price of the product to make up for it. That's happened of course, But ultimately, the price of a product gets so high that no one will buy it. So companies have turned to shrinking the size of their products to keep production costs and the cost to consumers where they were before Biden inflation took hold. And it is Biden inflation. Inflation never topped 2.9% in any month that Donald Trump was president. It hasn't been below 3% since Biden's ill-advised stimulus package in the spring of 2020 dumped so much money into the economy that inflation hit 30-year highs the very next month. It then stayed at 40-year highs for the next year and a half, only cooling when the Federal Reserve hiked interest rates faster than at any point in history. That's been a big problem for businesses that produce the products we buy because the loans they take out are far more expensive now than they were just a few short years ago. Not only that, but the Biden administration has also ramped up regulations on private businesses, dramatically increasing their compliance costs. With more interest, more government, and more production costs, Is it any wonder that companies are shrinking the size of their products instead of raising prices yet again? They're not being greedy. They're just trying to survive Bidenomics. For the McIver Institute, I'm Dan O'Donnell.